Danny Ashby. I'm the CEO of Outland Armor. We're a small custom fabrication and props manufacturing company. We do custom costumes and special effects for personal commissions and independent films. Uh, one of the things I'm going to show you right now is how we use Dremel tools to clean up a lot of our metal castings. We do uh, brass and bronze metal casting. And uh, one we're going to be working on right now is a little skull top hatted uh, brooch. Alrighty. Now I'm going to be cleaning up another type of casting, a uh, sculpt I did of uh, a little eyeball inside of a gear. And again, I did the original sculpt in wax, or in clay, and then I cast it in wax and then cast it in bronze. Um, but as you can see, oftentimes the mold will fall apart on the inside, and then it creates uh, little imperfections in the mold. And along the outer teeth of the gears, there's a lot of crusty bits of bronze that are just solid hunks of bronze. Alrighty, now I've got the engraver bit attached with uh, a medium sized tip and I'm going to be using that to attack some of this uh, demold here around the edge and some of the imperfections on the inside as well. Alrighty, now I'll show you some of the props that we've made. Um, this is the Steam Pump Boba Fett helmet that I created and after I cast the helmet, from a silicone mold, uh, from the casting of the original Boba Fett helmet, I used the Dremel stylus with the engraver bit to carve all of these little swirly flourishes. And over on this side as well. And then also all the way around the back, little swirly flourishes to give Boba Fett's helmet and it was Victorian flare. I also used the Dremel tool to create the dent in the helmet. And the sand and drum. And then for the chest plate, for the suit, I cut the main plate out of Centra, which is a PVC sheet foam plastic. And then I drew all of these swirly flourishes onto a separate piece of Centra and cut those out on the bandsaw. Now, then I glue to the surface of the other piece of Centra and then using the Dremel tool, the stylus, and the grinding drum, I rounded all of the pieces off to a nice smooth round shape. And then I used the engraver to carve out these recessed areas in the bottom sheet, which has been inked. So it creates a nice three-layered texture to what is actually a very thin piece of plastic. So it's very nice and detailed.